Aria costume designer. Gosh, she's so incredible. She kind of contextualizes the time period and people really will be transported into what the fashion was like in LA in the 60s. The best way to describe my job, a costume designer job, is being a character detective. Costumes are clothes, their identity, their, the visual clues and the nuances that help move the character along, which tell the story. When you look at Rick's bathrobe, or just the simplicity of Cliff's Hawaiian shirt, or Sharon Tate's clothes from the period, those images perfectly capture the essence of the characters who's wearing them. I was just blown away by the costumes in this movie. I got to put on a lot of goofy outfits, and Rick looks very desperate to try to be relevant. The character Leonardo DiCaprio plays an actor. So we have Rick Dalton's costumes when he's playing certain parts in his various TV shows and television appearances, as well as some of the movies. Anybody order fried sauerkraut? And then we have Rick Dalton, the man, how he dresses himself. And there's a bit of a character arc. So we had a lot of opportunities to create this visual vocabulary about Rick Dalton. In the end, I think he had over 22 changes where we see Leonardo DiCaprio in a way we've never seen him before. Hey! You're Rick fucking Dalton. Don't you forget it. I pretty much wear the same thing, the champion t-shirt and, you know, things of that era. Brad Pitt's really a fine collaborator. I love working with him and he's super invested in terms of his look. I'm Sharon Tate. I'm in the movie. You're in this? That's me. I always say a costume is a costume until a brilliant actor puts it on and brings it to life. It was a dream for me working with Margot, and we really wanted to be respectful to creating this portrait of a real person. Sharon's still a fashion icon. She, she had such an incredible style. We've had a couple of moments in the film where we've got to replicate something that Sharon wore. For example, the snakeskin trench coat is something that Quentin told me about from the very beginning. He's like, I've got it in my head, this trench coat she wore at the premiere of Rosemary's Baby. So trying to replicate that looks been fun. This is for you too. Recreating some of these iconic Sharon moments has been so inspiring, and I'm happy that we get to tell her story. Getting to work with Quentin on a Western was thrilling for me. We had all these wonderful characters, which were really inspired from some visual reference that Quentin shared with me, and that was really fun, bringing those costumes to life. I went in for a fitting at the same time Brad Pitt went in for one of his fittings. I came over to his dressing room in this and I said, I don't know what they got on your rack, but can't be this cool. Ariane's a wonderful designer. Everything being a movie within a movie, first you've got the costumes within the Western, and then you've got the street clothes for what people are wearing in life in LA in 1969. So it's like designing for two movies. And cut! With all the different Manson family members, all right, did a great job in giving them all their own look. They pulled vintage pieces that would have been worn back then. Some were in jeans, some were in shorts. You know, being able to costume Spawn Ranch and then walking on the set, it was uncanny. It was just like being in the photos, just incredible. Ari works from a place of a, a sort of combination of the character and also a very strong, iconic image. You know, we did a lot of research and looked at what the real people wore and kind of created our own looks from Steve McQueen to George Spawn to famous hairstylist J.C. Bring and Mama Cass. I mean, we just have these opportunities. These are cultural icons almost in terms of like our pop culture language. Johnny! 